Honorable the Honorable Wandai. Uh, thank you very much, the Honorable Speaker. Uh, honorable members, uh, allow me uh, following the communication by the Honorable Speaker to say a few things. As I hand over the instruments of the office of the leader of the minority party to the new office holder, my tenure as the leader of the minority party of the National Assembly in the 13th Parliament under Article 108 of the Constitution has now come to an end. Honorable Speaker, it is important that I do some reflection. Uh, for the time I've been in this house, now close to 12 years. Honorable Speaker, uh, let me share with you, Honorable Members, one of my most epic moments during my service in this house as a legislator. Uh, you will recall, I'm sure, that in the 11th Parliament, during my first term, I was actually suspended from the service of this house on the 31st March 2016 for the remainder of the session. Those days, now sessions used to begin from 1st January to end of December, I think. So I was suspended for the remainder of the session on 31st March 2016. of the decision of the House. Now, this prompted the House, and that's the most important point really here. This prompted the House to re-examine the provisions of our standing orders. And following extensive consideration of the matter by the Committee of Powers and Privileges and incorporating the guidance of the courts, it was recommended that the National Assembly standing orders be reviewed to accord a member accused of breach of parliamentary privilege fair hearing and to cure the unequal treatment of the same offense at different times of the session. And consequently, a standing order 110B was introduced to provide for an elaborate process for appeal against suspension. And standing order 111 was amended to provide for a maximum period of suspension of 90 days. Therefore, on a positive note, uh, this incident has significantly contributed to the jurisprudence of this August House. Our Honorable Speaker, for close to two years of my service as leader of the minority party in this parliament, I have continuously championed the minority position on issues under consideration and helped to some extent contribute to the legislative process through open engagement. Uh, from time to time and whenever necessary, I have had to consult and strike compromises with the majority party in the best interest of the public. Indeed, as with any other office holder, during the discharge of their duty, milestones have been achieved. The shoulders have been rubbed, sometimes the wrong way, and challenges have been experienced. Honorable Speaker, I wish to acknowledge the immense support of the parliamentary staff during my approximately 12 years of service in this house. Your office, Mr. Speaker, and that of the clerk, uh, Mr. Samuel Njoroge, have been very instrumental in the legislative process through impartial professional guidance and administrative facilitation. 
For this, I will forever be truly indebted uh, to these officers and the very hardworking officers. In addition, I wish to appreciate my able staff who work closely with me. I wish them all the best, and I will forever again remain indebted for their support. Asante Nisan. Honorable Speaker, uh, President John F. Kennedy of the U.S. said during an address in the Assembly Hall at the postcatch in Frankfurt in 1963, and I quote, change is the law of life, and those who look only to the past or the present are certain to miss the future. Honorable Speaker, allow me to express my special gratitude to my party leader, the Right Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga. Baba, for enabling my appointment as the leader of the minority party in September 2022. I am also grateful to the membership of the minority party for their support and cooperation during the close to two years of service as their leader of the minority party. Honorable Speaker, I cannot end without thanking the President of the Republic of Kenya. I repeat. Okay. Honorable Speaker, I cannot end without thanking the President of the Republic of Kenya. His Excellency William Ruto. His Excellency Dr. William Samoy Ruto. <laughs> PhD. For granting me this historic opportunity to serve my country as Cabinet Secretary in the Ministry of Energy and Petroleum. I wish to reiterate, Honorable Speaker, that this country is much bigger than each and every one of us. And we have a duty and obligation to protect and nurture it for the present and future generations. Honorable Speaker, I take this opportunity to congratulate my very able successor the Honorable Junet Mohammed, MP, as he takes over the office of the leader of the minority party. Honorable Speaker, you will agree with me that Honorable Mohammed, who completes his, his tenure as the minority party whip today, has with legendary humor and wit effectively discharged his role to the House and to the party. Honorable Mohammed, to you now, this is not an opportunity for you to fill my shoes. It is an opportunity to take the, this role to greater heights, in different shoes if need be. I wish you all the best in your new assignment. Honorable Speaker, finally, allow me to hand over Okay. Okay, fine. Honorable Speaker, as I conclude, allow me to thank uh, all my colleague members, now from both sides of the divide, for the immense support and cooperation you have accorded me. And I want to assure you that, that, that as I transit to the executive, my doors shall remain open. <laughs> and we shall continue to engage one another as we together build this country and protect it, protect it from any attempts to sabotage it by whomsoever. Honorable Speaker, I want to conclude, Honorable Speaker, by thanking all of you. Asante Nisan.